this movie, we're continuing to work with a project in which we already have performed a rough site calculation using just two control points. Uh, that's generally good enough for finding points in the field, but not good enough for high precision work. So now we're going to imagine that after some slogging through the bush, we have found point 3 and we're going to observe that point and set it as an additional control point and add it to our calibration set. And uh, later on I'll show you how we can take a latitude longitude measurement for point 5 and enter it as an additional calibration point. So let's start with observing point 3. So I'm going to move over to point 3 and I'm going to change my GPS mode to local transformation point. Now we'll level up over point 3 and we'll trigger the measurement. There we go, so I'll pick continue. Now it prompts me if I'd like to save the point and I'd recommend you do that for the purpose of record keeping. So I'm going to store point 103 just to make it easy to remember to match it to point 3 and I'll give it the description of GNSS. Now, uh, the uh, map point feature has discovered that uh, point 3 and point 103 are very close in the map and it has correctly identified 3 as our control point. So all I need to do here is pick yes. Now I can modify how I want to, to treat point 3 in the control set. I'll just turn off the option to use it for vertical control so that we're just using point 1 for vertical and select OK. And now it's been added to the set. So now I'll just say OK to save those changes. Now what I'd like to show you is another method of adding an additional control point. I have a manually entered latitude longitude value that corresponds to point 5 in this project and I'll show you how I can add it to our set of control points. So to do that I'll go back to the plumb bob, I'll go to survey tools, I'll go to GNSS Local Transformation. We'll take a look at our parameters again. And now notice how the parameters have gone back to manually defined. So I just need to switch it back to calculate using control. Then when I pick on OK, now I have the option to modify the control. So here I'm going to add a new control point. And we're going to select, in this case, point 5. Then, as I move further down on the list, I have additional options for setting the GPS measurement. I can either, from this option, select an existing point that's already been stored. I can pick on the measure button and I can trigger a GPS shot. And also, I've got the option of, ch of uh, setting whether, I, whether or not I want to manually enter either geodetic, long values, our Cartesian, in this case, UTM-83 values. So here, I'll set geodetic, and I can manually enter my latitude and longitude. So I'm inputting these values as degrees, minutes, and seconds and I'm following with decimal seconds. As soon as I click out of that field, then they're translated to a more readable form. Oops, these should be in the Western Hemisphere. Okay, and the elevation. Okay, we'll pick on OK there, and now I can review my control set. And so you can see that the um, map uh, projection coordinates have been reverse engineered from the latitude longitude input. Looks like everything fits in there nicely. Only thing I want to do is not use that one for control, or for vertical control. And I think I'll change this one so it's also not being used for vertical control. Okay, and once I've reviewed all the residuals and I'm happy with those results, 
I can pick on OK and if I'd like to update the calculated coordinates from earlier in the day at all the points that were in the job I can pick on adjust GNSS points and what this will do is it will go back to the original lat long measurements recalculate what their positions should be uh, using the new GPS transformation parameters and uh, then they'll be stored that way in the point database. If I close this and if I ever need to review the steps that were taken then I can go and look at the raw file viewer and what we'll find at the bottom is that all of the adjusted points are recorded as an AP record so if at any point you need to go and review what the earlier values were you can see that further up in the raw file and at this point you're ready to continue working thanks a lot for your interest in this topic